Further inspiration had been found during a visit to Paris in 1889, where Edison had met French scientist Etienne Jules Marais, whose chronophotography captured 12 consecutive images per second on a long, continuous piece of film. Marais had been filming birds by converting a gun into a camera, so that as he pulled the trigger, he was actually taking rapid pictures of them uh, with strip film. And this influenced Edison to go back and experiment with roll film. Motion picture technology is difficult. You have to have film that stops, gets the image, advances, stops, gets the next image. And it has to do that 20, 30 times a second. So you need film that can take the beating. You need film that's sensitive enough to do it. Edison worked with George Eastman to develop the film with the sprocket holes, figuring out how the machinery is going to advance the film, stop it, advance the film, stop it. And he developed a really terrific camera. And that was his contribution. Throughout, Edison had worked closely with his assistant in the mining operation, a sometime photographer named William Dixon, who was largely responsible for the optics of the device. Now, Dixon had begun to produce the first films in what eventually would be the Edison Company's extensive catalog, a collection of short features meant to be shown one at a time on a coin-operated peephole viewing cabinet called a kinetoscope. The first motion picture entertainment device was a genius contraption that allowed you to see a loop of film, a very short loop. The inaugural batch of kinetoscopes shipped from West Orange in April, 1894. Five to Atlantic City, 10 to Chicago, and 10 to a small storefront in Manhattan, a former shoe shop near Herald Square, soon to become the world's first commercial kinetoscope parlor. They were setting up the machines, getting ready to open, and curiosity seekers had gathered, and they decided to let them in to give the machines a try and it turned out to overwhelm them. The public poured in. The novelty of the thing was incredibly attractive. 